probably one of the greatest teams as a, a unit that I can remember us having because they didn't have a real, real star on that team, but they were all very good in their own respect. The personality of that team was really all over the place. Each individual was somewhat outspoken. Even the freshmen on that team, I remember, is being quite outspoken. And, um, you know, they, they were an interesting challenge for me as a coach. I know they'll find that hard to believe, but they were a challenge to get all those different personalities on the same page, going in the same direction. The key was they all had the same goal. And so it became easier as the season went on for all of them to accept the fact that we were all different, yet we were after the same thing. And it made that year a very fun year, even though at the beginning I think I was ready to kill several of them. The 94 team to me was a, a really good example of a team that was balanced in terms of their overall approach, balanced in terms of the number of people who could swing and hit the ball, balanced in terms of the defensive and the offensive effort of serving and receiving. So that, that balance was phenomenal in that 94 team. One of the most competitive kids that I've ever coached was Rachel Gatewood. And as a setter and your quarterback of the team, that's what you want. She took her team you know, as far as it could go. And I think you've got to recall a Jane Salkowski, because Jane came off a knee injury, a horrible knee injury the year before, and Jane did a tremendous job of leading the team and, and was a great player in the middle for us. Uh, and Chris Elmore from right down to Higginsville will always be one of my favorites. She is a tremendous outside hitter for us. We had two junior college athletes come in that year. Krista Geick on the right side, she was a lefty for us that did a great job. and. Heather Cruz in the middle, really, really just great opposite Jane. She was more of a blocking kind of middle. They got a lot of blocks for us. And I also think our backcourt was very good um, with Kim Jackson on the outside and, and digging all those balls. And, you know, we had a little Sarah Pilcher that was a pretty dang good back row player and Mindy Sapp. And, you know, I could go on and on. I think everybody really had to say, everybody on that team, including all those players that didn't get a lot of playing time, made that team a really great team. I do remember the, the match at Missouri Western that year. We won the first game very easily. It was not a big deal. We thought the match was over, that Missouri Western wasn't going to play because we were so good. And the next thing you know, we, knew, we lose the next three games to Missouri Western. And so that wake-up call for the players that even though we were a good team, that if you take things for granted, other teams, they're trying to beat you. And I really think that helped us down the road because after that match, we won a whole bunch of volleyball matches, including uh, the first match at the national championship that year. Portland State at uh, Bakersfield in the national, I guess that was quarterfinal, was probably the one of the matches that I remember most over a very long career. And it was such a hard fought match against really what I felt like might have been the best team in the country, certainly the second best team in the country. And we were able to stay on the court with them because of our defense. And not only Kim, who set a record for um, digs in that finals, in you know, Elite Eight finals, everyone played great defense. And uh, we had just enough firepower to, to get by Portland State. I think we were ranked like maybe 12th in the nation and Portland was like third. And I think that really showed the country that maybe you know we deserved a little bit more respect than they had given us. I would like to commend this team on the great camaraderie and uh, you all did a great job of giving it your all at all times and really caring about what happened to each other and what happened to your team and your school and represented Central Missouri with the utmost uh, confidence and composure and have turned out to be wonderful, wonderful young women. This is a congratulations, but I, I, I want you to understand how heartfelt this is because teams getting into the Hall of Fame, it's not an automatic thing. And as good as the team was and as good as the record was in the national championship, getting into the Hall of Fame is a recognition for the overall accomplishments of everybody on this team. And I think that as a, as a team, one of the things that we value is the contribution of everybody. Roster, starting, non-starting, doesn't make any difference who you are. And so, all members of this 1994 team deserve congratulations for the hard work that they put in and it's a well-deserved honor for their recognition as a, as a new member of the Hall of Fame at Central Missouri.
1994 Jennies, I'd like to congratulate you for being honored and inducted into the UCM Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, you're one of my favorite teams, and now you're one of everyone's favorite team. Go Jennies! Thank you.